Hi everybody and welcome to storyboarding for VFX and animation. I'm Jen. Um, I've been teaching for about 11 years now and for about six years online. So um, I was into the online space before the pandemic. This class is asynchronous, meaning that you can watch the videos whenever you want and do the assignments whenever you want. However, that being said, um, we do have discussion board posts that'll be due every Wednesday at midnight. You have to respond and make your initial post. And then we have discussion board posts that are due every Sunday night. And then every Sunday is when your assignment will be due. So don't hesitate to ask any questions, um, but let's take a look in uh, the class and I'll tell you kind of how to get through everything. All right, so every week you'll go to the home page and this will be updated to reflect whatever week we are in. Um, so we've got quick, li quick links up here, but we'll see as we go down. There's a breakdown of what we're looking for. The live lecture, video conferencing. Again, I said this class is asynchronous. I will make sure to record the video Sunday or Monday for the following week. Um, so I know if it's Sunday, it's a little weird because it's in the previous week, but I want to try to get it to you as early in the week as possible so that you can watch it and know what you're doing for the entire week. Um, readings. Uh, each week we'll have a little bit of reading that help to kind of round out the class. And then again, I said we have two discussion boards, so I'm going to use tabs because I like tabs. Your first one this week is a short bio. So before you get started, please take this chance to post a quick bio in the discussion board. Sometimes online classes can be a little bit challenging because you don't have that person sitting right next to you, or I'm not there right next to you. So it's important that we get to know each other and you can kind of um, feel a rapport with your classmates before we get started. You're going to be critiquing a lot of their work and sometimes that can be challenging if you feel like you don't know them very well. So for instance, um, I'm Jen. Again, I've been teaching here for about, oh man, six years now. Um, I have a really strong passion for animation. Uh, storyboarding is an excellent way to make sure you're prepared um, for an amazing animation. I love looking at concept art and storyboard books, especially for video games. Um, some of my favorite, let's see, most recent games, um, I really liked Subnautica. Subnautica 2, um, wasn't as good, but it was still good. Um, I've been playing The Artful Escape, which is just a really artistic journey. Um, I love movies, animated movies. Finding Nemo is what got me started in the field. I, I saw it and I was like, you know, I think I want to do that. Um, I live in the suburbs of Chicago with my husband and my three-year-old son and my dog, Norman. I love coffee. I love um, baking. Baking has been my pandemic uh, kind of find. Um, yeah, so, you know, just a little bio. Talk about your, you know, what you enjoy about art, what you enjoy outside of art. Some little tidbits about yourself, okay? You're going to post your initial post before noon on Wednesday, and then you need to reply to at least two of your classmates. So every week, no matter what the discussion is, you'll have your original post that answers the question, and then you'll have a minimum of two response posts. Okay, we're growing the discussion. Think of this as kind of like if we were in class and somebody asked a question or brought up something, and then we kind of all went through it as class. And then your second discussion board, do Sunday. Again, your initial post, post is due by noon on Sunday. I'm sorry, on Saturday, and replies by midnight on Sunday. Storyboards are a form of sequential art similar to comic books and comic strips. One factor that makes this form of artistic expression effective is that individuals intrinsically try to perform patterns and narrative sequences of imagery. Select three of the provided images and tell a short story, just one paragraph about them. It's really cool how we can visually see the same, you know, three images, two images, one image, whatever it is, and we can tell completely different stories about them. So it's fun to see in a discussion board here too because you might tell your story and then see that someone else used 
you know, two out of the three same images, um, but they're telling a completely different story. In this class, we will be looking at story as well as storyboarding. Um, so it's important to know, kind of think of that side of things as well. All right, so your first project, which is due week one, and I'm also going to look at the storyboard template. Um, this is our storyboard template. So let me go back here. I think this overwrote it. Overwrote it. Oh no, it's underneath. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so the download is just a blank version of the storyboard template that's in the assignment. But project one, do week two, create a 10 panel storyboard using the supplied template. For this assignment, use a joke for your subject matter. Make sure to include dialogue and sound effects into your piece. The narrative of your storyboard should be 10 panels, no more, no less. Detail all major actions and camera movements. You may draw a title at the beginning and a panel at the end for credits, but these are not going to be part of your 10. Okay? Not part of your 10. I don't think they're really necessary for this. I would just kind of dive into your story. So a lot of times with this, um, we do a knock-knock joke. And I know we're just getting started. You might not know all of the camera angles. You might not know all of the details that we need to put in a, a storyboard. And this is why we start with this, to kind of see what you're thinking, what your thought process is, all of that. Um, next week, I'm going to look at specific camera angles. So we'll dive into you know close-up versus uh, environmental shot, medium shot, all of that. Um, but I do want you to think of things. So let's say it's a knock-knock joke. I might need to set up my scene first. So this first shot, so scene one, shot one. The difference between a scene and a shot, a scene is going to be your location. So let's say um, my character walks up to the door and knocks on the outside. But I have scene one is the character walking up to the door of the house. Um, it's a, you know, a wide shot showing the full environment. Scene one, because I'm still outside, but shot two is going to be a close-up of his hand knocking on the door. Then we see inside the house, that is a different scene. So scene two. Um, so when you're changing environments or locations, that's going to change your scene. Any change in a camera angle is going to change your shot. So, you know, if I'm looking at character one and then I look at character two to see the reaction, you know, character two would be the second shot, but they're still sitting in the same room together. So it's the same scene. Okay. So you're going to want to set your joke up like that. So, you know, character walks to the door, character knocks on the door. You could have, you know, knock, knock sound effect. Um, maybe he does it with his mouth. Maybe he does it with a uh, door handle, door knocker thing, whatever it is. And then, you know, maybe this one is character sitting on couch and then the character walks up to the door and this is a close up on his face because you can see he's like, who's at the door, approaches the door and says, who's there? And then um, I should have prepared a knock knock joke before this. Um, tuba. You could. You know, you're going to see, like, because a knock-knock joke would be knock-knock, if you think of that as one panel. Who's there is a second. You know, tuba, tuba who, tuba toothpaste. So generally, your standard knock-knock joke is five lines of dialogue. And we're turning this into a ten-panel storyboard. Again, your title sequence or credits don't count towards the ten. So that's why it's important to think of, okay, well, what kind of information might be helpful? A lot of times people can do a setup sh shot and kind of a concluding shot. Maybe the character's reaction. What did they think about that storyboard? Was it funny? Did they need, you know, did they just walk away and sigh? Does he turn off the lights when he's done? Whatever it is. So you're really building a story around this knock-knock joke. Okay? So those are the main thoughts for this week. Now this is due week two. So what I would recommend is that you kind of jot down your ideas. Again, thinking of 10 panels. Um, 
you could make written notes, you could do little sketches, but I would just kind of get yourself prepared. We will have a critique next week to help you in progress. Um, and you can also email me if you're kind of just like, hmm, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Uh, could you assist or let me know? I would be happy to. Um, you, of course, want to read the syllabus. You have to kind of sign off that you read the syllabus, look at the best practices in the discussion. But this week, I want you to get used to navigating Canvas. How do we look at the book? Um, and, you know, make sure in the announcements, I try to put my email. Don't hesitate if you have any questions, make sure you've got this email. I'm here, I like to, you know, I'll respond within 24 hours, most of the time before that. Um, you know, just know if you email me late at night, I will probably answer it in the morning, okay? So I look forward to meeting you all and talking to you in the discussion boards and for you guys to get started on storyboarding. Next week, I will not be posting the video in the announcements, I will be posting it, I will be using the big blue button. Um, you're welcome to join if it just happens to work out that you're available when I do it, um, but there's no pressure. You can watch the video whenever throughout the week. All right, so again, don't hesitate if there's anything, and I will talk to you all soon.